Hi friends, I'm Julia and I'm very excited to teach you guys how to make bignolati. Bignolati is an Italian dish named from my nina's Sicilian dialect and this translates to pizza rolls in English. Okay, let's get started. First you wanna make sure you're working with a clean and dry area and you're gonna preheat your oven to 425 degrees Celsius. Spread that area generously with flour so your pizza dough doesn't stick to the surface. You can use any type of pizza dough, whether it be store-bought or homemade. I'm using Dimano in this video. Start spreading the dough with your hands and roll it out with a roller until you get an evenly spread oval. I'll be showing you how to make a meat and vegetarian option. First up is the meat option. Spread about a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil or enough to coat the top of the dough. Take two to three hot or mild Italian sausages out of their casing and spread it evenly on the dough. I'm using hot Italian in this recipe. Make sure to take the sausages out of the fridge 30 minutes to an hour prior to this preparation. Now we're going to add half of a white onion diced. This step is optional. Next we're going to add some spices. I usually use Italian seasoning mix from the store, however I ran out and didn't notice. So instead I'm using this Moulin Rouge brand. It's an all purpose seasoning and it turned out amazing. The last ingredient we're going to add for the meat bignolati is about 5 tablespoons of parmesan cheese or however much your heart desires. Moving on to the veggie bignolati, you're going to grab one jar of your favorite antipasto, which is a mix of veggies and oil. Make sure it's only oil and not in vinegar. You can get this at No Frills, Walmart, or any Italian grocery. I'm using the Aurora Hot Mixed Vegetables Antipasto Calabrese. They also have this brand in a mild version, so you can get that if you prefer. Now you don't want to add all of the oil in the jar, so a tip would to be actually straining the veggies from the oil, taking a quarter cup of that oil like we did in the meat version, spread it out, and then adding the veggies on the dough after. And the last step would be to add the Parmesan cheese, again about 5 tablespoons. So now that all of your toppings are on, you're going to fold the pizza twice on the long side like I do in the video. Then you're going to place it on a pan with parchment paper in a U shape and add one to two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil on top and you're going to rub it in with your hands. Once that's all done, you're going to place it in the oven for about 30 minutes or until golden brown. Once done, remove immediately and put on a cooling rack so the bottom doesn't get soggy. Allow it to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes and then slice them in two inch wide pieces. Enjoy!